Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a song of silk, Su Zhe Ge, a Chinese Beijing opera and Chinese music performance. My name is Charles Wiggins, or Wei Chong Su, and I will be your master of ceremonies. I was told I needed to say a few things about myself. Uh, I'm a senior here at Coastal Carolina University. I study finance, accounting, applied mathematics, and you probably guessed it, Chinese studies. So last August in 2022, I took my very first Chinese course here under Dr. Shang Chong Zhou. And to say I was hooked would be an understatement. It was honestly pretty life-changing for me. Uh, all of the experience, exposure, and engagement that the program they have here is second to none. And it's my honor to be a part of this uh, event tonight. But uh, enough about me, uh, you're here for the concert, of course. So uh, the concert's name, A Song of Silk, is threefold. First, the Silk Road, an ancient trade route linking East and West China. Second, silk and bamboo, referencing string and wind instruments commonly used to produce Chinese music. And third, the profound symbolic connection between silk and femininity, as a significant majority of the concert's performers are women. Tonight, you will experience incredible Beijing opera performances, Chinese folk and art songs, and beautiful instrumental music performed on, with traditional instruments, including pipa, ditsu, and more. This show is brought to you by the Center for Theater Arts Collaboration of Binghamton University. State University of New York, and is co-sponsored by CCU's Center for Global Engagement, Edwards College of Cultural Arts, and the Intercultural Language Resource Center, or ILRC. Now, I would like to invite our organizers for tonight's event, Dr. Sini Tan and Dr. Shang Shang Zhou to the stage. Dr. Sini Tan is, a, is an associate professor of French and Chinese. She's the director of the ILRC, and is also the program coordinator for the Chinese program. Dr. Shang Chong Zhou is a lecturer of Chinese and is an alumni of Binghamton University. Please welcome them. Good evening, everyone. 大家晚上好. I'm just so touched beyond words. Uh, you make me speechless. Um, so uh, thank you all for joining us tonight. Five years ago, I came to CCU as an assistant professor of Chinese and French. And back then, we didn't have any Chinese class offered on this campus. I was immediately assigned a challenging yet really exciting task, which is to develop a Chinese program. Over the past five years, Dr. Sheng Sheng Zhou and I have built a successful program that offers students a variety of courses towards their major and minor. They can also study abroad with competitive scholarships. And of course, they had lot of, lots of fun participating in cultural events like the Beijing Opera Workshop yesterday. I believe many of you were there uh, with our students and like this concert tonight. So, um, well, this is the first time live concert of Beijing Opera and Chinese music at CCU and also in the Conway Myrtle Beach area. Uh, this is definitely a milestone in the program development, but it's more than just that. Uh, in Chinese, we have a famous saying, 台上一分钟, which means for each minute spent on the stage, it takes 10 years of training off stage. This can be said about our wonderful performers who are award winning and internationally acclaimed, but it's also true about the kind of hard work and uh, intersectional collaboration that it took for events like this to happen in our community. I would like to take this special opportunity to thank all of the sponsors. I'm really grateful for all of my colleagues and friends who helped us promote and organize this event, especially my amazing colleague, Dr. Sheng Sheng Zhou, uh, who served as a bridge between the two institutions and worked tirelessly with me uh, in every single phase of this event. And also special thanks to Professor Jian Nan Wu from the theater department, who serves as the general director of our show. Lastly, I really want to thank my students, especially the student volunteers who started working here uh, 
you know, like this afternoon to make sure the show runs smoothly. And thank you all for being here. I hope everyone have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Shen Shen Zhou. Um, tonight is a very special night for me because uh, it was made possible by uh, a collaborative uh, effort between my alma mater, Binghamton University, and my new home, Coastal Carolina University. I'd like to thank our four performers uh, uh, who came all the way from Binghamton, New York. And I would like to thank my students sitting down there uh, for your enthusiasm and curiosity for a culture, a culture that's completely different from your own. And last but not least, I would like to thank every single one of you sitting there uh, for coming to our show tonight to show support. Um, of course, um, I would like to thank my amazing uh, colleague, Dr. Xin Yitang, for working her magic uh, of getting support across campus and the community, without which tonight wouldn't be a possibility. So everybody, hope you enjoy the show tonight. So sit back and enjoy. <laughs> So, thank you once again, Dr. Sini Tan and Dr. Shang Shang Zhou. We really appreciated the kind words. Now, we ask you to sit back and relax. And together, we will venture into this mysterious and fantastic concert. Our first performance tonight is Higher With Each Step, Wu Wu Gao, a representative piece of Cantonese music and a popular one during Chinese holidays. Two performers will bring you this lively melody with a robust rhythm full of festive tempos and positive energy. Mr. Yi Ming Miao will play the Dizze, the Chinese flute, and Ms. Yi Zhou will play the Pipa, another traditional instrument from China. Our second piece, also performed by Ms. Zhou and Mr. Miao, is another famous piece, Long Hu Do, Dragon and Tiger Fight. Long Hu Do is a festive piece of Jiangnan bamboo and silk music, popular in Zhejiang province. Its roots can be traced back to northern and southern instrumental tunes from the Ming and Qing dynasties, called River Crossing Dragon. The melody can be found in various plays, including Wang Shi Fu's The Story of the Western Wing and Tang Xian Zhu's The Peony Pavilion. Please, let's welcome our performers onto the stage.
Japanese classical dance using flowing sleeves that incorporates the concept of yin and yang, and elements of Beijing opera and tai chi. This dance is also reminiscent of a famous female character in Chinese uh, in China, Chang'e, the goddess on the moon in Chinese mythology. Although she is alone and lonely on the moon, her dance with her long sleeves is still graceful and beautiful. The phrase that can describe this dance would be Ji Mo Chang'e, Shu Guang Xiao. Professor Ling Hui Tu has been praised as the number one long sleeve dancer by many Chinese outlets and has, been pu has published several books and CDs on long sleeve dance in China. Now please, welcome Ling Hui Tu to the stage.
Xiao He Tang Shui. This piece is a bi-ethnic folk song from Yunnan province in southern China. On a tranquil night, looking at the bright moon and listening to the murmuring stream, a girl expresses her deep longing for her love who lives by a remote mountain. Our second solo is the famous Qingzong Plateau, Qingzong Gaoyuan. The Qingzong Plateau boasts the world's loftiest peaks, including the majestic Everest. This Tibetan song resonates with resounding and awe-inspiring melodies, extolling the pristine and sacred plateau through its exquisite lyrics. A few lines translated are, who beckons us from the depths of ancient epics, whose prayers linger from countless millennia past, are they but songs or eternal bonds that embrace us? Behold the boundless expanse of mountains, stretching as far as the eye can see, one after another. My mother once told me that this wonderful realm is none other than Qingzong Plateau. Please, let's welcome Miss Hong Zhong to the stage.
We are now going to switch to two traditional Chinese musical instruments. The Chinese lute, or dipa, played by Miss Zhou, and the frame drum, shou gu, played by Mr. Miao. The basic melody of Spring Along the Silk Road, si lu chun si, is based on roa music from northwestern China, where the ancient Silk Road connected China to its western neighbors. Now please, let's welcome Miss Jo and Mr. Miao back to the stage.
picking up the jade bracelet, Shi Yu Zhuo, which is designed for the Hua Dan Wall. Simple in plot, it relies mainly on dramatic techniques to entertain its audiences. The ancient story of a young country girl's awakening of first love is brought to life on the stage by the vivid gestures of the female protagonist, Sun Yu Jia. This, expert, this excerpts display the delicacy of her movements as she does needlework, and her graceful posture as she feeds the chickens. Please welcome Beijing Opera Master Ling Wei Tu to the stage. Thank you. 
We are now going to switch to two other <laughs> classical Chinese instruments. First, we have the bamboo flute, or di zi, played by Mr. Miao. And cymbals, played by Nao uh, Guo, played by Miss Zhou. This northern China wind and percussion music, titled Selling Groceries, Mai Tsai, is adapted from Shanxi folk songs. The music transfers between um, imitating the negotiations between a street vendor and a buyer. Let's welcome Mr. Um, Mr. Yi Ming Miao and Miss Zhou to the stage once more.
two beautiful songs from modern China. The first song, My Father's Grassland, My Mother's River, Fu de Yuan, Mu the He, is an ethnic Mongolian song. This song depicts the singer's deep affection for her motherland, the inner Mongolian plateau, and her strong sense of belonging. This song flows through everyone's heart like a gust of wind on the grassland or the trickling currents on the river. Our second solo is Beautiful Mood, Mei Li the Xin Xin. This is a modern art song that describes the beautiful mood. So, and with that, we welcome Ms. Hong Zhang back to the stage.
Now, we will see another Chinese musical instrument, xiao, the notched bamboo flute, during our next song, A Night of the Moon and Flowers on the River, Twin Jiang Hua Yue with Pipa. This 17th century music is like delicate ink painting scrolls, reflecting the Chinese philosophy of the wise love water, the savant loves the mountain. Its elegant style depicts the water, pavilion, mountain, moon, flower, breeze, cloud, wave, fisherman, and a boat by the ancient Yangtze River. Please enjoy.
tune of Purple Bamboo is a traditional Han ethnic song, which can be traced back to the spring and autumn period from 771 to 403 BCE. With this fluid and mellow melody, the music depicts the vivid scene of a young couple falling in love, full of the delight of life. Please enjoy. Please welcome Ms. Lingwei Tu as she depicts Ode to Pear Blossoms.
So the whole night I have been performing Beijing Opera, and I would like to have a last, the last piece as Kun Opera. Kun Opera is very different from Beijing Opera. The former is elegant and graceful, while the, la the latter is passionate and high pitch. I hope you will like the last, uh, the last piece. I would like to invite my partners, Joe, uh, uh, Mr. Joe, Miss Joe, and Mr. Miao, to join me.
Thank you. 